They say we dance like rivers. Hands flowing north like now, like deserts do not surround us. They say we, we move too dynamic to be in disarray. Too potent to be powerless, too spirited to be mummies, too vibrant to be starving. That seasons do not pass when drought tucks us into bed at night and famine like roosters crow emptiness into our mornings. They, they ask. How could dried up xylophones ring out such rich symphonies and why? Why is there so much life in that barren planet of a person now? How does this man answer such questions? How does he breathe truth into the ignorance? So I answer with this simple question. Have you ever seen an African dance? Have you ever felt the music possess limb to limb like there are angels having a feast in body, spiritual movements paralyzing each vertebrae from remote to rural? Have you ever seen an African dance? Have you ever sat in awe and watched the rhythm take flight in mind like rockets, full orchestra, playing and matching in sync, forgetting that this man knows not piano, that this man Knows not of violas complementing violins, of cellos and double basses, nor does he know of woodwinds and brass or music sheet that all he knows is rhythm. How he composes symphonies with each movement that raw, untainted and unmastered rhythm that, that causes his feet to pound firm on the ground, crusty and cracked enough to build trenches, yet he stumps. Forgetting that this soil can taste his blood, does it taste like fear? Like he knows that his barren soil will not produce for his family. Does it taste like negligence? Like he willfully ignores his plight. Like incompetence is his mantra. Does it taste like cowardice? Like he cringes at the sight of blood, of tears, and of death. Does it taste like death? Does it taste like a plague? Does it taste like a curse? Does it taste plain and empty? Like there are zombies reciting in his inner residence. Have you ever seen an African woman dance? Have you ever watched the hips steal the spotlight gyrating in fervent excitement with each drumbeat smile synonymous to sun like she did not cry rivers last night? Like the man who was meant for protection did not become a predator and her prey. Like his flesh did not become prime and her spillage for his desires to watch her hips gyrate in so much pleasure like they did not, like they did not gyrate in pain last night. Like she did not pay for her beauty with mundane beatings. Have you ever looked into the eyes of death and told her that there is something lively about her to watch? Watch her hips gyrate with so much joy like they did not quiver at the sight of a son six feet under. To watch her hips gyrate with so much freedom like she did not know slavery too well. Have you ever seen an African king cry? Have you ever watched his tears dance down his cheeks in morbid helplessness galloping through the bed farm wrinkles on his face as he watches his people dance on empty stomachs? He looks and he notices that see-through vessels never look so beautiful. The way the sun finds home in melanin skin never hug bones with such force vicious plagues never plagued a place with such potency. Now would you want to know this king's thoughts? Would you want to know? The emptiness and silence that dances inside. Would you want to know the nervous inferiority that causes his head and feet to nod and tap? Would you want to know that his throne carries no power? Because a seat is not a seat when faith is lacking. Would you want to know that he is king only by title because circumstance has stripped him to peasantry? Have you ever seen an African dance? Have you ever looked on in tears, heart skipping with smile? and said that this is beautiful, that this grace is worth glancing at twice. When rain meets a sunny day, how his outro fades like the sun behind the mountains at dusk. How his movements are tears filled praises limbs, telling folk tales worthy of the king's ears to say that this dance brings our souls before God, how our knees kiss the floor in humility and how our hands marry the sky in adoration and how our hearts pour out a supplication that in this state of devotion we find faith we find flaw yet a blazing firefly still buzzes within that we move like there's a solar flare skipping inside that we dance like it's our last for our legacies are better genuine untainted canvas for tomorrow may crumple this page with dementia causing us to forget the heavenly joy that was penned here tonight.
to rest. And I sleep and wake up anew like pain to not sleep here tonight. So the next time you see an African dance, pause, take a moment, look closely, and maybe, just maybe, you might find the joy hiding in the crevices of our plight. <laughs>